Well, good morning to you, Robin. To say Ford plant workers are upset about this positive COVID-19 case is an understatement. And right now, in fact, employees tell us that they feel that the company is not looking out for their best interests. After all, it was just on Monday that Ford assembly plant on Torrance went back online. And by Tuesday, we learned an employee tested positive for COVID-19. Ford saying that employee was sent home and we notified people known to have been in close contact with the infected individual while maintaining confidentiality and asked them to self-quarantine for 14 days. We are also cleaning and disinfecting the work area, equipment, team area, and the path that that team member took. Now, we know that plant production was actually up and running yesterday despite this COVID-19 case. Back in March, this memo went out promising if someone at the plant tested positive, the building that that employee worked in would be shut down for 24 hours for deep cleaning. That doesn't appear to be the case now, and a UAW Local 551 is calling into question the company's protocols that's supposed to protect its union workers. Video released by Ford shows employees wearing PPE masks and gloves while on the job. The company even says temperature checks are being performed. But those working at the plant tell WGN they just don't feel safe. It's definitely profit over people. They're trying to do what the the Ford is trying to do whatever they can to solidify their uh their bonuses that come every March. The the profit sharing says that come every March, which is not fair for us. Forget that profit sharing. I wanna live. So the governor's office says they are now working with the company to ensure the proper health protocols and procedures are now in place. Pritzker's office is encouraging workers there at that plant to report if they feel unsafe to report to the attorney general's office. Ford not saying just how many people may have been in contact with that COVID-19 employee who tested positive. Reporting live, Courtney Guzman, WGN News. Time now, 6.05.